guys, welcome back to Quick Tips. Today we're going to talk about Clip Studio layer properties. You can find the layer properties under window. I have them permanently added to my workspace because I use them so much. I just nest them in with my layers so that they're really easy for me to find and they're kind of grouped with similar tools. Here's where you can find them under window. Just click on layer properties and you should get a little pop up. We're gonna use the outline effect today and we're gonna set the color right here. You can use any color you'd like. For outlines where I normally do black lines, I'll do a black uh, layer property so that I can kind of combine those really easily. This is what it looks like just kind of out of the box. You can easily turn it on and off again. And then you can adjust the thickness it adjusts, it will adjust the thickness for the whole layer though, so you have to be careful that you, you definitely want that thickness on everything. You can also separate it out into multiple layers if you'd like different thicknesses. Here you can see I'm using a white pen with that black outline. Anytime you draw on this layer with the transparency or with the white brush, you can add and subtract from those same lines. It's really, it gives you a really interesting effect and it's helpful for a lot of different things. Here I'm kind of demoing some antennas for a bug, some little vines for this little pumpkin friend, shoelaces and loops. It's really helpful for accessories and for clothing. Anything that's gonna have little loopies, I think you could probably even use it for like zippers and stuff. You'll notice here that it is overlapping. So in the cleanup, I'm gonna come back and uh, cut those little like add extra lines to make those laces separate. You could also just leave them like that This is some piping around the toe of the uh, Creeper shoes that I'm doing here and then we're also going to do some kind of like fence work So here I've outlined it and then you can also use the fill tool. You just want to use the same color that your, your brush is. So white brush or white fill tool will give us the best um, fill options here. I'm just going to go ahead and speed this up and finish the fence really quick. I like to, I like these like little areas that overlap because that will give us kind of an interesting like wrought iron like welded look to it. So here I'm gonna come back and take away some of the stuff in the middle of these little diamonds because I wanted there to be holes in the middle of these but I had filled them all in. So you can use the transparency tool or the eraser to come back and remove white in the areas where you want the hole and it will take that outline back. It's basically just outlining everything that's on the layer. Here I'm demoing the the way you can use this to do um, comic bubbles, like comic speech bubbles. This can give you a really interesting look and make it feel a little bit more handmade without having to hand draw every bubble and like fill it. We're using the fill bucket again here, just to kind of get that done. What's nice about these is it's really easy to add stuff like drippy slime or lightning and stuff off of the bubble and get a really clean outline for it without having to sit and erase back the other stuff. Another good way to do that would be just use a vector layer and use the erase up to the intersection tool. This is just faster for me because I already know how to use this pretty well. So when you're done, you want to make sure you right click on the layer and hit rasterize. And then we're going to come over here to convert brightness to opacity. And that's what knocks back uh, all of those like white fills that's going to get rid of those entirely and now we just have the black outline. Once you've converted it to just an outline you can see I'm moving it around here. I'm just going to demo really quick. You can just fill it in really easily. And then I think we're going to do some some hand drawn text. I wanted to show you guys how I do this for kind of like graphic design and um, it's really helpful for like onomatopoeias in comics stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just use that same technique. We've got the layer properties turned on. We're using a white brush here and I'm going to, I'm going to draw the text. I'm going to rasterize this layer and then I'm going to add a second layer properties this time with a different color. 
And that's gonna kind of give us an interesting text that pops a little bit. And then you can kind of come back over here and do the convert brightness to opacity. And it gives you kind of this interesting like double outline text. You can also take this and drop like a drop shadow behind it, which is also really cute. There's a lot of fun things you can do with this technique and text. So we're gonna go ahead and clean up now. I'm just erasing, because I've got these on two different layers, my regular line art and my layer properties line art, I can just kind of go back and erase the areas underneath that I don't want anymore. And then I'm gonna add those extra lines that we were kind of talking about to make these light, these laces look a little bit more realistic. I really like how these turned out. I think they look really cute. These are some super fun shoes. I definitely have several pairs of these. So we're just cleaning up the little pumpkin. And then that's kind of what it looks like filled and colored. I didn't do really like any shading or anything on this, but I think that it turned out really cute. And I think that um, this is a really helpful technique. I hope this helps you as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you next time. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comments below. If you have any other suggestions for quick tips or other videos, also put that in the comments. I love to hear that stuff. This video is brought to you by my lovely patrons, Terror Billy Jean, Anthony Jets, Runner Breyer, and Jesse C. Thank you guys so much.